Hello, this is Thick Tac. In this video, I will show you how to start up your Airbus A320neo in Microsoft Flight Simulator. If you enjoy the video, then please like and subscribe. Let's get started. When you start your flight from a gate, then you will find your plane in exactly this state. The screens will be off and the engines will not be running. So in order to get it taxiing and then flying, we need to start the engines up. So let's learn how to do this. First, we'll bring up the checklist by going up to the top over here and selecting the checklist icon. This will bring up our checklist window and there's three checklists over here. Before starting engine checklist, starting engine checklist and after starting engine checklist. We'll start with the before starting engine checklist. Now it brings up a whole list of things we need to do and there's three buttons at the bottom. Evaluation has the co-pilot showing you where the buttons are and uh, making sure you've done everything correctly. Autocomplete page just completes the whole page for you and autocomplete item completes a certain item for you. And there's also eye icons at the sides of the items and if you click on there, it shows you where uh, the thing that you need to change is. We'll do it manually. So let's start off with our battery switches. So we'll, we'll press Control 8 to go up to the top over here and turn our battery switches on. As you can see, everything lights up. Now we'll turn on the external power. As you can see, it's available. So we'll press it to turn it on. Engine generators on fault displayed. So our engine generators are here. Fault is displayed on them. Engine bleeder switches. They are here and here. They're already on because if we press it, it says off. So we can keep them like this. ABU master switch over here. Turn it on. On lights up. Now we'll start up our ABU. And now we need to wait for available to be lit over here. So the APU is basically like another jet engine at the back of the plane and we'll use it to uh, power it so then we can start up our engines. So we'll wait for it to start up, we will soon hear it running and then available will be lit up on the button. Now available has lit up and we can continue going through our checklist. So the APU bleed needs to be on. The APU bleed is over here. We turn this on. Uh, external power off, so we can now remove the external power. And the fuel pumps on. So all the fuel pumps are over here. We'll just turn on all six buttons. And now the beacon on. So the beacon is here, it's a light on the top of our plane that just warns everyone around the plane that the plane is starting up. And now we'll move on to the starting engine checklist. So first we'll start off uh, with the thrust levers to idle, so we can press control 7 to move down here to the uh, engine controls and we need to make sure they're at idle, mine are already, just make sure yours are as well. Engine mode selector, ignition start, so we'll turn this to ignition start. Master 2 on, you'll see on the engine display, engine 2 is starting up. We'll turn on engine 1, engine 1 will start up too. So we'll wait now for the engines to be stabilized and then we can move on. So as you can see that N2 number is changing so that means it isn't stabilized so we have to wait until it reaches a certain point where it will just stay the same. This video is sponsored by Incredible Maths. Incredible Maths is a great app in which you can learn and practice maths. It has a wide range of content for different levels of abilities. You can download it on Google Play and get 30 days of Incredible Maths Premium free with the code. More details down in the description. Now let's get back to the video. Okay, so now 
engine two has stabilized. The number isn't changing anymore on uh, N2, and now engine one has stabilized as well. So the checklist is complete, and now we can move on to the after starting engine checklist. Here we have three items. APU bleed off, so we'll, move, go, we'll go back up here and turn off the APU bleed. APU master switch off, so we'll turn off the APU and engine mode select to normal, so we'll go back down here and put this in the normal position. Now we have completed the checklist. The plane has started up, as you can see, everything is lit up. We can close the checklist down and we can push back and taxi to the runway and take off and fly. So, I hope you enjoyed the video and have found it helpful. If you did, please press the like button, subscribe for more videos, and if you have any ideas for future videos that I could make, then please put them down in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.